I coming to you today from a new chair, a different chair rather. Um, I wonder one without arms on it because I always feel sort of cramped in in the old chair. So I'm trying this chair out and see how it goes. Um, today, um, Alexandros has asked me to talk about vital energy. So I will talk about vital energy. Um, nowhere in initiation and hermetics is a clear explanation given of the vital energy. In step two, we begin poor breathing and suddenly you're just breathing in vital energy. Uh, he doesn't explain it at all. But the thing is, the technique that he uses to introduce you to breathing, inhaling the vital energy um, guarantees <laughs> that you will be inhaling the vital energy. Because that is how we take in the vital energy is through poor breathing. This is how we do it consciously, is through poor breathing. We inhale it with our whole body. Now, you have to really get into it. You know, um, poor breathing is not just breathing in and out and visualizing that you're doing it through your pores. It's, you have to literally breathe in. We have to inhale through all our whole body. We have to really get into it. You know, it has to be more than just imagination. We have to actually breathe in through our whole body. Now, we're obviously not breathing in air through our whole body, but we are inhaling with our whole body. And when you do that, you will be inhaling the vital energy. That is how human beings in, take in the vital energy consciously. Now, we're all obviously constantly, you know, moving within uh, the vital energy, essentially. It's all around us, and it's in us. And we do take it in when we inhale and exhale. We hit, you know, we exhale um, the debris um, after having inhaled vital energy. Um, it's okay. We should get down to what is the vital energy. <sighs> vital energy exists everywhere around us. Um, it is the energy uh, in all things. Everything that exists uh, contains the vital energy. It's formed by the vital energy. It, the vital energy permeates everything. It's all around us. We are always interacting with the vital energy. Every Thing that exists interacts with this vital energy. The vital energy is within it. It is the, um, the atoms bouncing off of each other, moving around, spinning within the molecules, etc. Composing everything. It is the motion of the universe. It arises when time intersects with space. Um, space is the distance between things. From the distance between me and the other things in the room to the distance between the atoms which make up my body. They all have this distance. Everything has distance. In the material world, everything experiences distance, okay? This relationship with other at a distance. And time is merely how we perceive um, sequential change. Here in the material realm, it's all sequential and it's always changing. And this is sequential change combined with space together 
they create an energy. <laughs> that energy is the vital energy, what we're calling the vital energy. It's called different things in different parts of the world, but it's, it's recognized universally, okay? It's just, this is the particular way that we deal with it um, consciously and intentionally in Hermetics. We call it the vital energy. And our first contact with the vital energy and primary contact with the vital energy is we inhale it. Through our whole body, we inhale this vital energy. And when we inhale in that way, we connect. We can't help but connect. As long as you are truly, you know, have that sensation of inhaling with your whole body. You know, you create a vacuum inside of yourself which sucks in, you know, the energy that surrounds you, that is all around you. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's nothing special. It's everywhere. And it, it interacts with everything. This is why it is so useful from a magical perspective and why we start with the vital energy in our actual magical practice. Um, it's the first materia. It's like the mercury. You know, it permeates everything that it touches, okay? Which is everything. This is why we can, we can use it to heal ourselves, to heal someone else, to impregnate a room with an intention? Okay, to affect someone's thinking, how they feel, how they think? To charge an object? Etc. It's very useful substance. So we inhale with our whole body. Inhale. Just pull it in. And that we feel at first, sort of on the outside of our body, the surface of our body, a sort of an electric tingle, a very mild um, electric tingle, like a current. Um, and it gathers inside of us. And it's vitalizing. This is why it's the vital energy, because it's, it's vital to our existence. It's vital to everything. Okay? And it it enlivens us. That's the thing. It sets it all in motion. It um, quickens us. It energizes us. Um, and we can uh, accumulate it. You know, we can pack it in. We can make it real dynamic. So that there's this tension within us where we exceed the vital energy exterior to us and we begin to radiate vital energy ourselves when we get enough inside. Um, we can do all these different things. We can direct it into an object, into a person. We can hook an idea to it and project it into an object, a person, an area. We can use it in our auto-suggestion and create the changes of the auto-suggestion even quicker, even more firmly. It, like I say, you know, it, it, it's compatible with everything. And it's everywhere. So, that also means that when we condense it, you know, it's going to start dissipating because it's connected to everything. So we have to establish boundaries to it, you know, f spatial boundaries or temporal boundaries. Um, a boundary that's, you know, until my will is done, it shall remain. Um, and we can connect it with the universe, you know. It doesn't have to come through us. We can just direct it from the universe into an object into a room, you know, 
into whatever we want to use it for. So this is why it's the first work, really the first magical substance that we deal with. You know, we're doing other magic simultaneously with our astral body, you know, changing the character. And this feeds into it, you know, taking this into yourself with, you know, your affirmation or it helps you create changes within yourself. It's a great ally in that process. And, you know, we're also doing these things with our mind, you know, focusing our awareness, etc. And, you know, the more we can focus in our body as we're inhaling it and as we're managing it, the greater our control will be. So, all these exercises feed into each other and build on each other, strengthen each other in different ways. When I started doing this work of step two with the uh, poor breathing, it was so automatic for me and so easy. And so it's a little hard for me to conceive of ways that this would be uh, um, confusing or difficult. Um, people often ask, well, what is a vital energy? How will I know when I feel it? Um, and it's just you know. Um, do as Barden instructs and really genuinely inhale with your whole body. You are a vacuum and the universe has to rush into your body to fill it. Just let that happen and you will feel the vital energy. And the more you get used to it, the more automatic it will be. Um, it's very easy to manipulate the vital energy, to accumulate the vital energy. There's no barrier here, because, you know, it's what we do as human beings. This is how we manipulate the vital energy as human beings. And the way to learn it is through poor breathing. It's the best way. Okay? Well, I think that's it. All right. Bye-bye.